Grade 8 Math number 9.1b, Transformational Geometry, Properties of Translations. So we said in the last video that we've learned that a function is a rule that assigns exactly one output for each input. Back in Chapter 6, a transformation is a function that describes a change in position, size, or shape of a figure. So remember that. The transformation, it's a function that is talking about the change in position, size, or shape of a figure. The input of a transformation is called the pre-image, and the output is called the image. So the input is the pre-image. That's the original image. That's the original, original figure or shape. The output is the image. That's the new image that came once this one went through the transformation, OK? A translation is a type of transformation that slides a figure along a straight line. And that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about these, this trapezoid that I've got right here and how it's going to go through a translation. So we can translate trapezoid ABCD, see ABCD, down nine units and to the right seven units to make the image and the way we say this with the little tick marks, these aren't ones. If you saw the previous video, which I hope you did, otherwise you're going to be confused. As I said before, these little tick marks are primes, okay? So we say A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, okay? So this trapezoid is the same as this trapezoid. If I took my little magnet trapezoid here and we covered it up like that, we could see that this point A slides down to this point A, and it goes just like that. See that? So that A is that A. And we can draw a line from B to B prime, and we can see that we've got a negative slope, don't we? Because it's heading down to the right. So this is our rise and our run. See that? We can also see there's a right triangle, can't you? And that's the hypotenuse. Can you see that? All right. Well, line AB, this line up here, is 4 centimeters. Each one of these squares is a centimeter. So line AB is 1, 2, 3, 4 centimeters. Well, look, A prime and B prime, this line is 4 centimeters also. And BC is 4.5 centimeters, and B prime, C prime is 4.5 centimeters. CD is 7 centimeters, and so is C prime, D prime. And line AD is 4.1 centimeters, and so is A prime, D prime. See that? The lengths of the corresponding sides, the similar sides, are the same. They're identical, aren't they? And look at We have the measure of angle A. Remember when there's a little M in front of this angle symbol, that's the measure of angle, and then it tells you which angle, A. So the measure of angle A, that is this measure right inside here, OK? from this blue line to that blue line. This is the angle I'm talking about. That measure is 105 degrees. And if you look at the measure of angle A prime, it's also 105 degrees, OK? And the measure of angle B is 120, and the measure of angle B prime is 120. Measure of angle C is 60, and the measure of angle of C prime is 60. This one is 60, and that one's 60. And the measure of angle D is 75, right here, and the measure of D prime is 75. The measures of this corresponding angles are the same. So for trapezoid, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, it's a translation of trapezoid A, B, C, D, because the length of the corresponding sides are the same, and the corresponding angle measures are the same. The orientation. The shape and size are the same. Remember what orientation is, what I said in the last video. It's the direction of something or the position of something. So it's sitting exactly the same. This has got the same 75 degree angle that this one does. See? So the orientation is the same, and its shape and sizes are the same. So it's a translation, OK? Now, if we look at line A, B, and C, D, well, if we look at a prime, B prime, and C prime, D prime going like that, we can see that they have parallel lines that are matched. 
the sides that were parallel in the pre-image are parallel in the image. See? These two lines are parallel. These two lines are parallel. They have a lot of things in common, don't we? So, translations preserve and maintain the size and shape of a pre-image. It's just the image slid. See? You have a pre-image. That's the first shape. That's the original one. And it slides to a new position and becomes the image. Translations are congruent to the original image. They're the same shape. They just slid over to a new place. Now, this trapezoid, we can translate this trapezoid to an infinite amount of ways. We could put it all over a coordinate plane, anywhere we wanted to. And it would just slide there, and we would have the same orientation, shape, and size. It would just be in a different spot. See? We could put it just in a different spot, and it would translate to another spot. See that? So, can you see that this is a negative line because it's coming down? Remember we did that in the last chapter? So, it would have a negative 9 rise over a 7 run. See? It would go down 9 and over 7. See that? Okay. So, those are translations. I hope this was helpful. I hope I repeated myself enough that it really went in your head. And we're going to keep talking about transformational geometry. And I'll see you next video. Bye.